really what the trust is about more than anything else is connecting people with the land. And we felt as we learned more about CSA programs that there would be very few things that could help us more in achieving the mission of preserving land and connecting people to it personally than getting into the farming business. And we have found that to be the case, that uh, we have done more in connecting a larger community to the mission of the trust, the core mission of the trust, by getting into the farming business than anything I can think of that we would have done. What we originally hoped for when we started the farm was not just a place to grow food, but for a place to have community events where everybody could gather and um, share. And that in turn helps everybody really understand the value of the open space, what the open space is being used for in the case of Russian farm, um, being able to grow sustainable, uh, sustainably grow food in an organic way and also recognize the preserve site, the woods, the bird banding and the other um, stewardship uh, opportunities that we have to preserve. We grow 150 varieties of fruits and vegetables. Our CSA membership at this point was 80 shares. Some of those shares were split, so we had 100 families ultimately involved. We have a goal of donating 10% of what we harvest uh, to our Share of the Bounty program, which is um, giving to area food shelters. And uh, we gave 1,500 pounds of food this year. This farm is interconnected with the wildlife around it. And in the fall, we ban saw-wet owls, and the owls love it here. They hunt here at night because, because of the way they farm, this is good habitat for small mammals like mice and voles. And so the owls come in here as they're migrating and use this as a big feeding station. It's like a giant bird feeder. So what we do is we actually set up mist, what's called mist nets. They're like giant hair nets is what I like to call them. And we decided to do it at Rushton Farm because we wanted to monitor how the birds were being impacted by the agricultural practices and how they were interfacing between the Rushton Woods Preserve and the agriculture. What we've shown through Rushton Farm is the ability for that ground to produce food, to bring the community together, and still respect the natural resources, still fit into a landscape that is part of a preserve, and still support the wildlife. And I think not only has the community become educated, but I think it's been an asset that has been brought to the community that the community looks at as a force for good. They learn about where food comes from and they learn about the connection between a sustainable agriculture program and the natural resources that surround the farm itself.